Welcome to Learnpedia, the 24 by 7 JE and NEET resource at your fingertips. Now, take a look at this actual JE question and see if you can answer it. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comment section below. To know the best way to solve this question, continue watching this video. Here we are studying first thing, motion of two bodies connected by a string. We call with the pulley system a body. As we see in this figure, there is a very interesting figure here with two bodies I have shown. A mass, a blue color body, another is a red color body. Blue color body is heavy, so it starts sliding down. There is a pulley system attached here, fixed to the rigid support. It is called an Atwood machine. We will try to calculate the acceleration of the mass M1 and M2 when this pulley system is at rest. That means the rigid support is not moving. Now only mass M1 and mass M2 are in motion. Pulley system is at rest. So let us see uh, how the two bodies are going to move. So as we see here, the pulley is only in rotation and body blue color body is coming down red color body is moving up let us analyze when the pulley is at rest how the two bodies are going to move let us consider this is a rigid support this is a pulley which is at rest only rotation is possible here we have attached one mass this mass suppose i call m1 and here we have another mass let me call this mass as mass m2 yeah m1 is greater than m2 so therefore this body is going to come down and this body is going to move up let us analyze the forces on m1 we make free body diagram for m1 due to gravity one force here is m1g upward tension t since this string is same throughout tension will be same inextensible massless string due to gravity this will be pulled down m2g the acceleration of mass m1 is downward as a similarly acceleration of this mass m2 is also a but it is in the upward direction now let us write free body diagram for the mass m1 and m2 write the equation for mass m1 and m2 m1g since body is moving down minus t is equal to m1a this is our equation 1 for the second body t minus m2g is equal to m2a this is equation number 2 solving these two equations adding we get m1 minus m2g is equal to m1 plus m2 to a so acceleration of the system will be m1 minus m2 by m1 plus m2 into g substituting this value of acceleration in any of the equation we get tension t substituting value of acceleration the tension t will be equal to 2 m1 m2 g divided by m1 plus m2 so we have seen in the case of Atwood machine when one mass is heavier than another mass this mass is going to be pulled down with an acceleration A this mass is being moving up with an acceleration A we made free body diagram we drawn all the forces acting on the bodies and generated equation 1 and equation 2 with these two equations solving we have got an acceleration m1 minus m2 by m1 plus m2 g and tension t is equal to m1 m2 by 2 m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 into g acceleration of both mass m1 m2 is same because the string is inextensible flexible so see here also in this case this body this going to move down and as well as this body is going to move up we can again see how the two bodies are in motion so i think you have followed this atwood machine where the acceleration of the system and tension in the string we have calculated when this pulley system is at rest. I hope you can now answer the question. Take a look at the solution here. Hit the bell icon below 
to subscribe to the Learnpedia channel and to learn more through more such interesting videos. Learnpedia's JEE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4,000 videos and over 20,000 solved examples. These can be accessed online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also experience a free demo of our product before buying.